Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'd like to finally introduce you to Inkscape 1.3's Shape Builder tool. Before I get into all that, don't forget to check out my website for more Inkscape tutorials. You can also enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass on Udemy or my WordPress masterclass, which is also on Udemy, and I'll include all the relevant links from this video in the description. The moment is finally here. We finally have a shape builder tool for Inkscape 1.3. They've been developing this for a while now. Huge congratulations to the Inkscape team, but let me just do a quick demo of how this tool works. So let's just scroll down here and I'm just gonna create a new page here, AKA a new artboard. So I'm just gonna come over here and click new page. And now I'm just gonna start off by drawing some shapes. So I'll grab the ellipse tool and I'm just going to very quickly draw a cloud here and I'm gonna hold the control and shift keys. That's going to constrain the proportions to a circle and also scale this from the center. Release my mouse. Let's just click, left click on a color here in the swatches to set a foreground color. And that's gonna make this easier to see. And if we shift click, we can set a background color. So I've got one shape here. Let's just quickly draw a couple of other shapes, all circles to start off or ellipses and then hold control and shift to draw one last circle there. So I'm gonna scroll up here in my toolbox, make sure I have my select tool, and rearrange the shapes to how I want them, and where I want them. All right, so to use the Shape Builder tool, we're just going to select all the shapes we want involved in this. So in this case, all of these circles or ellipses on the artboard. And then we can either hit the X tool on the keyboard or click this third tool down in the tools over here and that's gonna bring up this new window. So it's gonna bring up its own special little shape builder window. And now you'll see my mouse has a plus icon. And as I hover my mouse over different parts of the shape, it's going to highlight that segment of the shape. So what I can do, if you guys are familiar with Illustrator, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Just click and drag your mouse and you're gonna see it's going to select and combine the different shape segments as you drag over them. So this is showing you the brand new shape that's created when you release your mouse. You'll see we now have this one larger shape and then these three shape segments left over. And of course, I'm just going to finish off the shape. So I'll click and drag my mouse. And let me actually just release my mouse. So real quick, if I wanted to delete a shape segment instead of add it, just hold the shift key. You'll now see a little minus sign. The highlight color will change to red instead of blue. And now when I click on that, that shape segment is gone. If you weren't happy with the shape you selected, you can hit the escape key to start over and exit out of here. Otherwise, you're gonna hit the enter key and that's going to apply the new shape. So there you can see our new shape. Let me hit control Z to back up. And once again, I'm just gonna select all the shapes, hit the X key, and now I can very quickly just select all the shapes to combine them, hit the enter key, now we have a cloud. So shift click, let's change the color to black and then just left click on white. And of course I can grab the transform handles there, hold control and shift and just scale that down. So really intuitive tool. I think they did a great job of this. I'm sure they're gonna refine this as they go, but I do think it is a really awesome first pass. And real quick, I do wanna demonstrate one last thing. If I grab the rectangle tool and I click and drag and let's say this is a different color. So it's gonna be this sort of purplish pink color here. And now I'm going to, with my select tool, shift click and select both shapes. The styling that this takes on, the new shape, is going to depend on which shape I start with. So let me hit the X key. If I were to start from this rectangle shape and draw over, and let's hit the enter key, you're gonna see the styling is gonna take on that of the rectangle. But if I hit control Z, and with my select tool, select both shapes, hit the X key, and I start with the cloud instead and hit the enter key, you'll see now it's gonna take on the styling of the cloud. The phrase game changer has been thrown around a lot in recent years, but this is the quintessential game changing feature for Inkscape. But there are also tons of other great features that have come out in Inkscape 1.3 and I'll be discussing all those in a separate video. But thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the relevant links from this video in the description. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.